Okay, it is time to go over the anime lineup for fall 2023. I am not gonna lie with you guys. I'm super excited about this season because the Eminence of Shadow is getting in season two, Goblin Slayer is getting in season two, and there's so much more. And I want to go over everything I'll be reacting to here on the YouTube channel and also what I'll be reacting to for Patreon exclusive only. And I just want to get right into this, so let's just do it. First of all, we of course got the Eminence in Shadow Season 2, which is literally coming out October 4th. That is right. And I am so hyped for this. Like, yo, Eminence in Shadow Season 1 was so good. We got to see Sikagano. It wasn't one of those self-insert animes where like it's a trashy Sakai. It like took the idea of trashy Sakai and took it a step forward and made it so like something completely different, something revolutionary. And I think it was just so good. And I cannot wait for the return on uh the fourth and like dude wednesdays are gonna be absolutely fire i i just it's gonna be so good and it's gonna be based on the blood moon arc and what is it uh was it what's the other arc it's called uh revolutionary arc I don't, I don't know there's another arc for the the season they're gonna use but all you really need to know we're gonna have sick fight scenes i think we're gonna release five of them uh we're gonna see john smith introduced which he's a really sick character like yo if you know John Wick, he's like the John Wick of the Eminence of Shadow, and he's an absolute menace. And I'm not gonna spoil anything about it because there's a plot twist, there's gonna be actions, there's gonna be deep lore to it, and oh, dude, it's just so good. So I definitely plan to react this here on YouTube. So if you want to want to miss out on get get subscribed, and I plan to do Patreon not Patreon exclusive, full like reactions on Patreon. So like I'm reacting, I'm doing both for this one. This is the one anime that's gonna be my Wednesday anime. And I don't think I'm reacting to anything else on Wednesdays besides this because like I'm hyped. Next, we got Goblin Slayer. Goblin Slayer is making a return for its second season, which I am so excited about. The first season was good. I remember the first episode came out the first season. I was living in the living room watching it with my brother. Uh then that one cutscene played. And uh I'm not gonna lie, I don't think anyone was ready for that. Just imagine that one guy in public who watched it. Yeah, I, I, uh, if you're that guy in the comment section, let me know. Because my guy, dude, I was in the like, living room and uh, it was awkward. Me and my brother both looked at each other like, what the hell are we watching? I know we saw the watermark for like fair warning, but like, god damn. So, you know, I'm definitely going to be reacting to this on Fridays because it's coming out October 6th. So this is going to be my Friday anime, which of course will be doing the full like reactions on Patreon. And then of course the breakdowns for YouTube. And oh, dude, I am so hyped for this. I cannot wait to see what will happen with Boy Goblin Slayer and where will he go next. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens because I saw like the movie they introduced the Goblin Paladin, which was really cool. Look at that fight, that whole sequence is interesting. But it'll be interesting to see what he does next. Now, Dr. Stone is making its return for the second part of actually season three. I I'm not gonna lie, Dr. Stone has been really fun. I feel like though, with all the animes that have been coming out recently, Jujutsu Kaisen, and all that jazz and all the big stuff it really has gotten slept on and i don't feel like a lot of people are watching it like i feel like it's fun to watch it's really really good don't get me wrong however i just feel like it's not getting as much attention as it deserves and i think that's a bit unfortunate which i oh i just hope it gets more attention this season i don't plan to react to it on youtube and the reason why is because i was doing anime reactions on it it was safe it was chill it was under fair use but for some reason my videos were getting targeted and getting it removed every other two weeks and keep in mind that i work on an anime reaction for dr stone it takes me at least two hours to make the reaction uh, and the video out of it and literally two weeks go by and the video gets taken down like no nothing happens there's nothing bad happens. it just gets taken down but i don't think i'm gonna be reacting to it on youtube here but i will be definitely reacting to it on patreon so if you're interested check it out on patreon but i'm really excited to see where they continue off after getting the platinum from the uh, final episode and see what they do next in reviving the crew. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Now, we do got Spy Family. There is no date on this one yet. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with Spy X Family Season 2. I did watch a little bit of the first season. Uh, and honestly, it was okay. I wasn't crazy about it. Maybe I'll react to it on Patreon. I'm not entirely sure of yet. But for the time being, if I do react, it's only be on Patreon. It'll be interesting to see what they do next with the second season. Next, we got Shield Hero Season 3. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I probably won't be watching this. If you guys did not know, Shield Hero Season 1 was absolutely amazing. The revenge plot was good. It was fun. And Season 2 was... Eh, I don't know. The whole CGI turtle thing was weird. I didn't really like the direction they took it with it. 
I thought going to another world was cool and all, a different world, but I feel like the plot where it's going is a little bit, it doesn't feel organized. It feels a little bit too much and too random. So I don't think I'll be reacting to Shield Heroes Season 3. And if I do react to it, I'll react to it on Patreon, but I can't say if yet I'll be watching it though. Next, we got Dead Mount Death Play. We're finally getting the second part of Season 1. Or yeah, I think it's second part of season one, from correct me if I'm wrong. Or maybe this is the season two. But I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how I feel about this. Like season one was really good the first half. Then the second half got weird, and I'm not entirely sure how I feel about Death Mount Death Play the second part. I'll probably react to it on Patreon, but I don't think I'm gonna react to it actually on YouTube. And the reason why that is I read the manga a while back and honestly the direction they're going with this is interesting, so it'll be I, I don't know how I feel about it. That's that's why I don't really want to react to it because I just don't know how I feel about this. But hey, Patreon exclusive, definitely. Next, we got Far Away Paladin. I'm not gonna lie, Far Away Paladin. I'll probably watch this. I watched the first season of it. It isn't anything special, but it's honestly fun to watch. It's kind of like one of those isekais that you kind of watch enjoying your off time. It isn't anything special. It's not a trash isekai the least feel of. It doesn't feel like a good isekai. It's kind of in that weird spot where I don't know how they actually feel about it. Uh, so I think I'll definitely be reacting to it on Patreon, but I can't say for YouTube for the time being, but I am looking forward to see what they do next with it. Next, we got a hundred girlfriends that really, 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 really love you. Dude, I'm looking forward to this. Supposedly they got a hundred voice actors for this and I don't, no, that's entirely the case, but I just know every person we heard so far in the trailer has had a different voice. So I don't know how they're going to pay the bills for that anime, but I am really looking for it. Like it looks very good, but also looks very spicy at some moments. So like, I don't know. I, I feel like it's going to be very fun to actually watch and it's actually coming out on October 8th. So it's going to be a Friday anime. I'm not entirely sure how I feel about this. I kind of want to react to it on YouTube, but at the same time, I don't really need to if I don't really have to. But uh, I don't know. So we got like, was it 4th? Wait, I just realized the Eminent Chance Shadow not coming out on uh, October 4th. Wait, October 4th is... Okay, so October 6th is that. So maybe 100 Girlfriends I Really Love You is actually on the 8th, which is actually on Sunday. So you know what I'll do? We'll watch girlfriends that really really love you because uh i'm kind of curious how it plays out actually nah oh, i don't know how i feel about it i really feel like it has potential but at the same time i'm, I'm kind of concerned about it too um how about this you guys decide do i react to 100 girlfriends that really really love you on patreon only or on youtube as well let me know in the comments down below and if you guys really want to see it i will react to it on youtube because honestly i'm kind of curious about it but i don't know how it's actually gonna turn out but i will be definitely reacting on patreon that's for sure Next, we got the Berserk of Gluttony. If you guys do not know, this is based on a manga for uh, uh, the actual whole thing. And honestly, this is, I read this. It was really, really good. My only thing with it is I'm not a huge fan of like the whole story and stuff like that. Like I definitely will be reacting to this on Patreon. And it comes out on the 1st of October, which is actually, uh, what is even that? Is that the Sunday? So like, yo. Let me know what you guys think about this. Will you be watching The Berserk of Gluttony? And what do you think about it so far? I'd be curious to figure it out, but I definitely will be reacting to this on Patreon. Next, we got You Were Experienced and I Was Not Our Dating Story. This is kind of like another like wholesome dating anime. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like it'd be fun to watch. It looks very, very cutesy and stuff like that. So I kind of want to like check it on out. But at the same time too, I'm like, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it. So like, I think for the time being, I'll only react to this on Patreon and then I will go from there. I don't think I'll drop it because like sometimes I'll watch a really wholesome romance anime and then I'll drop it because I like, forget about it. And that just doesn't mean I don't like it. it. Just doesn't mean I just haven't like, I don't have the time to watch it. So I kind of just put it down and come back to it later, which I do that to a lot of them. But besides the point that I'll probably like watch this and check it on out. Next, we got Girl for Girlfriend season two. I'm not gonna lie. This is, this is eh. It's kind of one of those, rom-com harem things and i'm not a huge fan of it season one was fun but honestly i read the manga afterward to see how it went afterward and i probably will not be like watching this unless like i just want some trash jesus guys so maybe i'll react to it just kind of for the etchy for jokes but we'll see next we got a returner's magic should be special so this is interesting this is actually based off a manga uh, it's actually a really interesting one. It's based on time travel. And I'm not a huge fan of time travel, to be honest with you guys. I don't like it when the MC is from the past end game when he dies and comes all the way back and changes the present, which is a cool concept in theory. But I feel like 
Like, if you already know what's gonna happen in the future, it's kind of boring. And that can be the same thing about overpowered characters. However, with overpowered characters, something can always change. So, I, I don't really know how to feel about this. I feel like it looks good, don't get me wrong. But besides that, though, I probably will be only checking it out on Patreon. And that's about it. Maybe, like, see how it looks. And I don't know if I'll even continue watching because I wasn't a huge fan of the story. But, like, let me ask you guys a question. What's your guys' thoughts? on a returners magic should be special do you guys like it will you be watching it i'd be curious to figure that out because like i don't know how i feel about it man next we got i'm giving the dis oh, disgraced noble lady i rescued a crash course on naughtiness now oh dude i read the manga for this and it's so wholesome slash funny like it's nothing like super special to be honest with you guys it's kind of just like very very playful at times with what they're doing and it's very cute and wholesome at the exact same time so like i don't know i'll probably definitely watch this on patreon but that's about it though i don't think it's gonna get anywhere super crazy all you really need to know as the noble noble uh, lady got uh kicked out by her family by her husband long story short he was a douche uh the guy she gets picked up is technically a demon lord apprentice or something i don't remember the exact lord for it all you really need to know he's busted but he doesn't really use his power that often but it's very fun to watch their interaction to see how they act with one another and that's all you really need to know about it so definitely gonna be checking this on out next we got my dog left the next to return as an s rank adventurer i'm not gonna lie i did read the manga this however i dropped it really fast because i didn't find that interesting i don't know there's been a lot of these where it's like kind of daddy daddy issue girl gets picked up and all that jazz and becomes op uh not like daddy issue but it's kind of like that whole scenario i, I don't know how to think about it I don't think i'll think i'll watch a few episodes to kind of like check it on out but besides that though i don't know if i'll be entirely like reacting to it and stuff like that and see how it goes because yeah all you really know is this girl's damn bad for her dad and that's really all you need to know so like I i'll check it out but besides that though, i don't think i'll be watching too much of it now we got after school hanukkah kun i'm not gonna lie i don't know what they're doing this like is this supposed to be ova is it supposed to be a second season or is it supposed to be because Toilet Bound Hanukkah was really, really fun. And I was hoping to get a season two over to see what happens next. Because, like, I read the manga afterward. The manga gets really interesting and really dark and really fun. Uh, especially the dark. So I was hoping we could get to see a second season of it. I don't know if we're going to see too much with this. Hopefully we do. But I don't know what's entirely going to happen with this, though. So I, I'll, I'll check it out, though, definitely. But that's really about it for, like, animes this season. There really isn't much that really stands out, like... Jujutsu Kaisen will be on pause for a little bit. So will Majuka Tensei. They'll be coming back in spring. And of course, Eminence of Shadow and the Goblin Slayer, I feel like are going to be the main two this season. They're going to get the most attention out of all the animes. Like, I don't feel like, I feel like, well, Shield Hero will get some love because people who like it still like it, the fanboys. But besides that though, I feel like the only other anime this season that's going to get a lot of attention is going to be Spy X Family. And of course, Dead Mount Death Play. But those are, of course, all the animes that I'll be reacting to and watching for anime of fall 2023. I'd be curious, what do you guys think you're gonna react to? Not react to, watch for fall. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and yeah, of course, if you don't wanna miss my anime reactions though, when I do react to, what is it? The Eminence of Shadow season two on Wednesdays or Goblin Slayer on Fridays then get subscribed and if you guys enjoy my going over every anime you thought my anime list was good then let me know by smashing a like button if you guys didn't like my anime list then you could drop a like i understand i'd be curious to see what you guys think about the animes though this season and i'll tell you i'll see you guys for another anime reaction shiman out